Hi friends, this is teacher Aura. Look, he's my friend Josh. And he feels today a little worried. Look at his eyes and his face. Mm. Sometimes we feel worried or happy or sad or surprised. Those are feelings and it's okay to feel that way sometimes. So let's see what happened in this book when Josh feels worried. <gasps> let's see. See you next time. Story time. Bye-bye, guys. When I am worried by Michael Gordon. First thing in the morning, Josh felt happy and light. But as the day progressed, try as he might, he struggled to manage his worry and fear. All kinds of concerns began to appear. Josh worried about everything, big things and small. Although he tried to stay calm, he had no control at all. His tummy felt like it had butterflies inside. His heart wouldn't stop racing and he wanted to cry. Josh carried this worry like a big bulky sack, wigging heavily upon his little back. At the doctor's office, when it was time for his shot, he was trembling with fear and his head felt quite hot. After his needle, mom took Josh to play at the park. When they got close to home, the neighbor's dog started to bark. Scared of the loud noise, Josh ran straight to his front door. He hid in his room till he couldn't hear the noise anymore. That night, Josh worried when it was time to go to bed. Worry made his tummy feel bad and worry hurt his head. When mom closed his door, it was dark and Josh felt alone. His worries grew bigger and his mind started to roam. He worried that there were monsters hiding in his room. His chest started to feel tight and his head filled with doom. He worried that next time mom took him to the park to play, she might forget he was with her at the end of the day. The next morning, Josh realized how to stop feeling bad. He should tell all his worries to his mom and his dad. He told them how scary everything had started to feel and how even the small things felt like a really big deal. We all feel worried at times. It's normal, mom said. We are proud that you are sharing what's going on in your head. When you tell us your fears, they get smaller and feel less real. We'll always be here to help soothe the worry you feel. Getting shots is important. Don't worry about them again. Dr. Joe is so gentle, you shouldn't feel any pain. And Oscar the dog doesn't bark because he dislikes you. He's saying hello in that special way doggies do. Now, let's see if we can find those monsters, Dad said. They searched all over Josh's room, even under the bed. Josh felt relieved after all their searching was done. There were no monsters in his room, not even one. To celebrate, mom and dad took Josh to the park. As they passed Oscar, he greeted Josh with a friendly bark. Oof, oof. The family played games and laughed and had lots of fun. And they all went home together when their playing was done. Remember sharing your feelings with your grown-ups, with your mom and dad and your teachers, and you will feel better. The end.